First at 10, a lawsuit filed against Kentwood Public Schools this week says a former student suffers from extreme anxiety and depression and can no longer trust people after the district failed to act when she reported an employee sexually assaulted her. The alleged abuse lasted for more than a year and police eventually charged the man involved. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Berry. I'm Janice Allen. Fox 17's Marisa Overly read through the civil complaint and the court documents from the criminal case. She's live in the newsroom tonight with these new details tonight at 10. Marisa. Janice and Josh, court documents and the lawsuit claim that employee assaulted the then 16-year-old girl throughout Kent County. He pleaded guilty to a felony last year and her attorney says it's now time to hold KPS accountable too. There's no excuse. John Marco describes it as an act of willful ignorance. So the warning bells were going off. The school did nothing to protect this student from a sexual predator that was employed by the school. On Tuesday, the Detroit area attorney filed a lawsuit against Kentwood Public Schools, which alleges the district violated a former student's civil rights under the Elliot Larson Act when a counselor did not take action after she disclosed a man named John Hunt sexually assaulted her. Whether you're a government, a school, uh, a law firm like myself, any everybody has to comply with this. And that means that you have to take reasonable measures to make sure that people are not sexually abused or harassed or assaulted in your institution. According to Marco, Hunt worked as a security officer and custodian at East Kentwood High School. The lawsuit says in 2018, he began to make extra efforts to talk to the victim and offer to provide guidance with her dad no longer around. Then in January 2019, the sexual abuse reportedly began. According to the lawsuit, the victim told a school counselor about an unhealthy relationship with Hunt five months later and repeatedly talked about it in other sessions. Despite that knowledge, though, the lawsuit says the assaults continued until July 2020. It was very troubling. It was a very traumatic experience. She reported this to her school counselor who has who have obligations under the law, aside from just general civil rights law, under the law to immediately report this abuse to authorities. Later that year, the Kent County Prosecutor's Office charged Hunt with third degree criminal sexual conduct. According to a probable cause affidavit obtained by Fox 17, he abused her at a home on West Grove Drive and numerous other locations in the Grand Rapids area confirmed by hotel registrations. Marco says what the victim went through traumatized her. She withdrew from college classes and struggles to go to public places, according to the lawsuit. She's struggling with trust issues. She's struggling with issues as it relates to being able to have meaningful relationships with other people in her life. Now, we emailed and called Kentwood Public Schools multiple times this afternoon, but did not receive a response in response to this lawsuit. Now, Hunt could be released as early as next year, according to state prison records. We, of course, will keep you updated both on air and online when we do learn new when we do learn new developments uh, with this lawsuit. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Marisa Overly, Fox 17 News.